G'day folks, let's uh, have a go at getting this junk tyre off this rim. Um, this is uh, another free XEXF Falcon, Ford Falcon Australia um, rim and tyre. Uh, it's the same as one I had a little while ago that I gave away and this one, in this case, the tyre has been deflated and run on so it's pretty much trash. The back bead had already been broken by driving on it so the tyre is useless. I've got a brand new old stock Goodyear Decaro to go onto it so I'll uh, dismount this one and just keep it as a uh, or refit it and use it as a trailer spare and extra spare for my car. Being a scrapyard junkie like I am you do pick up nails and screws whenever you go down there so it's not a bad idea to have a couple of extra tyres around. I don't have any bead lube at the moment. I'm getting some very shortly but I'm just using soap and water like a sticky solution of uh, dish soap and water which is fine to use it in a pinch but realistically you want a tub of uh, proper bead lube. Sometimes you don't even need it. Like these beads were stretched so bad I could just push that down with my boot and it came off. I didn't even need to use the table. I do own a professional tyre machine, but I just don't have access to it at the moment. It's installed at the scrapyard and they're closed. I should really bring it home and rebuild the pneumatics in it though. Leaks like mad. easy. <laughs> I wish they were all that easy but this one's stretched and damaged anyway. Some tyres you just have to call it quits and put them on a machine otherwise you'll never get them off. At least not without breaking your back or destroying the tyre beads or something like that. But as you see I didn't put enough force on it to peel the rubber off the bead. Not that it matters in this case but if you want to keep the tyre you don't want to damage these beads. So. Yeah, we'll cut it here, I'll give this a really good clean up and inspection and then uh, go from there, put the new one on. Alright, let's see what we can do here. The rim has seen better days, I mean it's about 20 something years old, but it still seems to be alright. I can't see any obvious cracks or anything and it was working fine last time it was used, so let's remount it. If it doesn't balance up or it runs out, no big deal to just peel it off again and throw the rim out. I haven't replaced the valve stem simply because I don't have one of that length. I've got longer ones but they're too long. But this one seems to be fairly good. It's not perished. Normally I'd replace them anyway. I just don't have the shorter valve stems. with a machine but anyway do it the harder way. No it's not that it's that hard. Save your water. That's one side done. If it's on a machine sometimes you can just run up to it and shove the tyre on there and it goes on instantly. Just bang, back bead's already on. I used to be able to do that. <laughs> Mind you, when I get my machine back I probably could again. Remember, start at the valve stem, finish at the valve stem. So, valve stem's there, I'm starting here. Well, start feeding the bead onto the rim anyway. Hope we're in shot. <laughs> I 
I really need a video monitor. But this camera doesn't output to uh, HDMI unless I'm in playback mode. It's going to be a bit tricky, I think. You've just got to push it down into the groove in the, uh, I suppose you call it the centre of the rim. Push the bead down there because the beads don't stretch. Well, they shouldn't stretch because they're a wound steel cable. There we go. Done and done. Seated. I'll give it about 35 pounds, 40 pounds. I don't know how accurate this gauge is. It's not even meant for this inflator. <laughs> it works though. I'm within four or five pounds. Yeah. 30 will do for now. I'll double check it later. I really got to buy a professional uh, tire inflator, but. That'll be one day. I think they're about $130 each. Anyway, that's how to quickly and easily, well, change a tyre if you've got the equipment. Uh, bead braking, you need a uh, overarm like the one that mounts on my steel table. That thing there. And it has a uh, attachment which just pushes the bead off when you lean on the uh, lever. Didn't have to use it this time, but Sometimes it's the beads are just that tight that you can't get it off no matter what you do. Even with a long extension on it, it won't do it. In which case it's either take it to the shop or take it to my tyre machine and see if it can do it. But even then that machine leaks so much air it has a bit of trouble. So yes, done and done. Brand new tyre. I'll take it into the local tyre shop and get it balanced anyway, see if it runs out. If it does run out I'll just get them to strip it on the spot and redo it cash the rim in for scrap metal but I believe this rim should be fine anyway it looks good so that's it thanks for watching stay tuned for more